fellow heirs, welcome back to my channel and podcast. So, as you may know, I have been going through the spiritual gifts, and um, you may be asking yourself, since I did the last video, so what about the spiritual gifts that's in Corinthians 12? Well, today I'm going to cover those, and I'm just going to do a brief overview, just like I been doing all along as my gift is not the gift of teaching. So if you have discovered uh, your gift through my videos, praise God. And if you want to know more, um, you know, there's plenty of teaching out here on the internet, plenty of books, the Bible, and everything that you can go and do a deep dive into it to just to see what it is and just to find out more about it. I just did a brief overview just to encourage people to explore their gifts and to, if they're not operating in it, to get busy, right? Okay, so anyway, I'm going to read 1 Corinthians 12, starting with the sixth verse. And um, it reads, and this is in the NIV, uh, yes, there are different kinds of working, but all of them and in everyone, it is the same God at work. Now, to each one, the manifestation of the spirit is given for the common good. To one, there is given through the spirit a message of wisdom to another, a message of knowledge by means of the same spirit to another, faith by the same spirit to another, gift of healing by the same spirit to another, miraculous power to another, prophecy to another, distinguishing between spirits to another, speaking in different tongues, and still another, interpretation of the tongue. All these are the works of one and the same spirit. And he distributes them to each one just as he determines. Now, uh, I heard these gifts being called the manifestation gifts. Um, they are demonstration of God's supernatural power. And to me, um, to explain that, in my mind, this is how I reconcile everything is with the other gifts that I spoke about earlier, um, you know, the, the gift of teaching, the gift of service, the gift of teaching, um, all of these teaching, with the exception of the gift of uh, prophecy, but all of those gifts, you can see people out in the world having those same in a world, you would call them talents, I would say. You know, someone or or just someone with a good heart and they, you know, go and feed the hungry and and um, they're very encouraging or they're a teacher and they're a good teacher. Um, they're good at organizing and administration. But to me, you know, they're not operating in the spirit, of course, you know, um, not not all of them, of course, but, um, you know, these types of things you can see in people that are not even saved, you know, that they have a very good heart. So you see that they like to give, you know, and they they have a very tender heart, you know, very, you know, very forgiving person. Uh, some people, you know, they're just so, so kind, but they're just, those are just attributes of that person. Just to me, just part of their personality. It haven't been blessed by God. It haven't been graced by God. And so you will see some of these things out in the world. But for the gifts, the manifestation gifts, you're not going to see those out in the world. You're not going to see people with great faith out in the world. You're not going to see people with, you know, an overabundance of wisdom. I mean, you may see somebody in a corporate world 
with like um, intellectual, you know, or educational type knowledge, but not not wisdom like how the word is how you know the Bible is speaking of the words of wisdom from the Spirit of God, the word of knowledge where God will speak to you and say, "I'm healing this person right." right now or this person is that person is going through this or that person is going through that the regular joe or mary on the street they're not going to have that the gift of faith they're not going to have that nobody that's not saved is going to have the gift of healing they're not going to be able to work uh, miracles none of them will be able to prophesy Definitely none of them are going to be able to, to discern spirit, a lustful spirit. You know, uh, you know, there's all kind of spirits out here. They're not going to be able to discern that, but you can. You know, and you may not have all of these things, but sometimes you get around somebody and you you can feel a negative spirit on them, a spirit of bitterness. You know, you can see these spirits and sometimes they are manifest themselves right before your eyes. No one in the world can can do that. No one that has not been saved can do that. Diverse kind of tongues. There are people that speaks in tongue, God language, a language that God gave to them that no one can interpret but another saint with the interpretation of tongues. That's the only way you can understand. And sometimes he will give that same person tongues and the interpretation of those tongues. And to me, all of these, all of these um, gifts are to glorify him. Of course, each and every one of them. But to me, these particular gifts, um, you can, you can, um, easily take it and detect where that gift came from. It came from God because it couldn't have come from anywhere else but God. And so to me, that's where the difference lies. Uh, yes, there are gifts like the other gifts, um, but the other some of the other gifts you may see people out in the world with those different talents, you know, organization. They might be kind and stuff, and so they're always giving and stuff. You may see that, but none of them will be able to speak in tongues or be able to discern spirits. And I'm just going through the same thing over and over, but that's to me, that's the difference. And you can uh, take this and you can uh, trace it all, trace these gifts directly back to God. With some other ones, uh, some of the other ones, you you know, you, 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 you may not be able to say, okay, well, that person, that person is very organized. Okay, I know that person is a uh, Christian or, you know, but somebody discerning spirit, somebody healing somebody. Oh. You know, that's from our God. They are here healing people. That's from our God. That didn't come from no streets. And that didn't come from no books. That came from our almighty God. And so that's the difference to me. And um, I'm going to end this video right here. I hope uh, this series has been very beneficial for you. Please let me know uh, in the description or the comment section below. Thank you for spending time and listening to it. And you guys have a wonderfully blessed day. Bye.